Hey guys! So as you know, I went to VidCon and I got a lot of footage shown by these three videos here, but there was a lot of stuff I didn't get on camera that I probably should have. This is VidCon storytelling time. At one point, I went up to an elevator to go to a party with my friend Matt. When I went up this elevator, I just was really tired. It was probably around 2 or 3 a.m. and I was just kind of out of it. And then the doors open and I walk out and I see about four people walk in. And it doesn't really register, but I see a man with a beard. And then I proceed to exit the elevator and I realize that the man in there is Shay Carl. So naturally, I say, Hey! And I wake up a little bit. You're Shay Carl. I watch your videos. I enjoy your content. I'm not one for fangirling, but I do like to let people know when I can that I appreciate their work. And it certainly woke me up. And he proceeds to say, Oh my gosh, you watch my videos? You know, he is Shay Carl, and maybe he had a drink or two of apple juice. And continues being like, Yes! Oh, that's so awesome, man! So glad! And as the elevator doors are closing, he gets nice and close and says, Oh my gosh, I love you! So that was an experience to remember. One thing that was very apparent at VidCon is that there were a lot of fangirls. That's something that I expected. I just didn't expect the fangirls to be older than 13. But that's okay. Totally get it. To each his own. But there was one very strange experience for me. I was at the front of the VidCon stage the second night of musical shows and stuff. Being at the front, I just thought it was cool. I'm not a fangirl, but it was nice to be able to lean on the front of the stage and just look without having other heads in front of you because I'm kind of short. But I guess I just forgot that it's still a concert and there's still fans. During the concert, two times, both Ed Plant and then later Charlie McDonnell put their hand out to the audience over my head and me thinking, oh, sweaty hand of someone I have never met before. I did not grab hold of it or even lean towards it. I didn't lean towards it on purpose anyways. But both times when the boys put their hand out over my head, all these hands reached from I don't even know where they all came from, just out, and I got pushed on the stage, and my head was down as people were trying to touch these guys. It was so weird, and I just got back up thinking, really? So that was fun. In the merchandise area, I was with a couple of friends, and Cassandra found Nice Peter and was talking to him. There wasn't a line or anything like that, but he is someone that I genuinely like as a musician and a vlogger, so I wanted to say hello. As soon as she left, naturally, the first words that come out of my mouth are, uh, do you have to pee really badly or be anywhere right now? Nice. And then he proceeds to say, uh, no, and then I introduce myself. See, in my mind, somehow I thought I was being courteous, but I was just being weird. Anyways, he was incredibly nice, and then I went on to see him and Dante gives me motion on YouTube play some music. Although I didn't get to say hi to Dante, those two are amazing and so musically gifted, and it was awesome to hear them just raw and right there. One of the lovely people that I met right by an elevator is Mikola. Mikola is someone that I've been subscribed to for quite some time and he stopped making videos for a good portion of time but recently he started doing it again and again on a consistent basis and it's made me so happy so I made it a point to stop him and say hi I really enjoy your content I'm so glad you're making stuff again I, it's awesome that you're on YouTube. So later that night I ended up eating pizza with a bunch of friends in his room that he so graciously let us use and hung out with us in and in this room there were quite a few people, so many, most of which I had introduced myself to and said hello. At one point, Paige and Charlie got up and left. And as they were going to the door, tired me realized I never properly introduced myself and said, Hi, my name is, insert name here, and then exchanged pleasantries. I just kind of talked not directly to them, I guess. But I was very tired, so as I see them both at the door, I think to myself, oh, I'll probably see them later. It's no big deal. Oh, so I'm a rude person, and it was like 2 a.m., and I'm a poop. <laughs> but anyways, those were just a few of my many VidCon experiences. 
to those of you who came up and said hello to me. Thank you so much. I was not expecting that at all, and it was so kind, and you guys were all just so wonderful to me. And then when it came to the people who didn't know who I was, but knew who my friends were, and then we all hung out together, thank all of you as well, because everyone is so kind and accepting, and I felt like I could just not try and just be there, and it was amazing. Thank you to the Green Brothers who helped put everything together, and thank you for everyone who was behind the scenes who didn't get their name mentioned but spent a lot of time on a lot of different things. I can tell you, as one person who went, I truly, honestly appreciate all of your hard work. It was one of the best times I have ever had, and it's certainly something that I will never forget. Anyways, I love you guys, and I know this was a lot of VidCon videos, but it was something that impacted my life, and so I had to share it with you. I love you guys so much, and I'm still making videos once a week like I always do, haven't stopped. I just made about four in one week because I was too excited to wait for the videos to um, come out and stuff. Oh, and to everyone who included me in certain events or things that I wouldn't have been able to go to if it weren't for them, specifically, these are for you. Long-winded one. <sighs> Holster. Hey, Morgan. VidCon's over, babe. We have to hit the road. Hey, Morgan, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. They're going to clean the room. Hmm? Hi, so this is normally the part where the video would be over, um, and I wouldn't be filming because I just woke up and am a bit disheveled and probably don't want to be on camera in front of you guys. But here's the thing, there's this video that I've been working on making for quite some time and it's become a bit of brain crack. It's something that I really wanted to do, but I just didn't know exactly how to execute it. I was kind of nervous, I kept putting it off, adding more stuff to it, but I never executed it. So I've decided that is going to be my next video. I'm going to make it happen. The basic premise is you're going to know a lot more than me than just what's on the surface of this YouTube thing. Because although I have VU and Twitter and all this other stuff, there's a crap load of people who don't see any of that. They just see that one surface personality that I present on YouTube. And I want to show you guys more of myself. I've been, uh, I've been sitting on this idea for three months and people keep doing videos on YouTube like my friend Emily and my friend Luke and all of this stuff saying that we need to be more real and show this and this and I'm like oh I need to execute this idea and then I went to VidCon and brain crack happened and so basically even though this doesn't really fit the rest of the video I needed to let you guys know I'm going to execute this idea you're going to know a bit more about me and I love this I just need to execute it Okay, goodbye.